Okay, no, don't worry. I can confess it here. I don't forget. Yeah.
Safe today, we can gather as a fellowship. A lot has gone under the waters, but it has gotten to our generation. Instead of us to raise an altar, continue in the Levitical order of always setting the altar. We've come with an if statement. These men were before us, and mind you. They were not conditional. Jacob was conditional in his approach with God. We can see Abraham, his father, had four altars, if you are a good student of the Bible. And the last was the altar of sacrifice, of which God told him to sacrifice his son, Jacob. God told him to sacrifice his son, Isaac, the most precious gift he gave to him. Why? He was shaking his heart. An altar is simply a place of sacrifice. Sacrifice meaning we have nothing to withhold. Nothing you can't give God. Not an if statement. Jacob had to tell God, if you will give me bread, if you will take me through this journey, if you will bring me back to the land of my fathers again, I will serve you. Are uh, persons like that here tonight, that your work with God is sweet and if. Remember, it was in Genesis 35, Jacob had to set an altar. And it was up then he took away strange gods from within his camp. Meaning before he set that altar, Jacob had to pull out all that gods from him. He has to be righteous. I remember in scripture, that should be a few chapters before then, when God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. He came to Abraham and they were negotiating. God, what if you find 50 righteous persons who used to destroy the city? What of 20? God could not find Many revelations here and there. Many persons seeing Jesus living our territory. Now the truth is this. We have a lot of fellowships on campus. We have a lot of spiritual, so-called spiritual activities going on. But how many of you can say, my life is for Jesus? How many of you are righteous and righteous within and without? Even the princes know that you are lying. Even your shout and groaning is false. Purity precedes power. We have a lot of spiritual activities, but we lack men of stature. Righteousness exalts a nation. It is true righteousness that revival can truly break out. It is true righteousness that revival can truly be seen. I was in my secret place praying for this program of which it, I was not sleeping. It was a trance. I prayed to an extent. I dozed off. It was as if I was on this ground. Physically, I look around. There's no tree, right? But there I saw a tree, a table under the tree, we're having wine, 
bottle of granite, things like that. Books, candles burning on tops. I just imagine what I'm saying. I was with three persons of which I didn't see their faces. Then, praise Master Jesus. Don't be distracted, please. Don't be distracted. Let's continue. I, I had to move, move closer. I remember I was reciting the scripture in the dream, Psalm 91. I was, what altar is this, Lord? This ought not to be on the ground where we've laid altars for you. I prayed and scattered it in the revelation. But when I woke up, I pondered on it. I was asking God, Lord, what was the meaning of this? Then the Holy Spirit ministered to my heart. The altars, the ancient altars of which is dusty. We are in this ground tonight because we are here to reawaken ancient altars. That same altar that Fupri, we were speaking to Reverend Kess, and he said, a book ought to be written, Fupri Flames, of men who passed through this ground before. We are hearing stories. When will this revival come? We will hear and hear and excite ourselves. Prayer, you see many people doing acrobatics, jamboree. But if truly we don't engage these things, righteousness will not come. So even as we listen tonight as God's servant will be speaking, let us be conscious of the fact, one, that this ground we are right now is an holy ground. This ground we stand right now is an holy ground. Remember, I think in the time of Abraham, it was better he made a second altar to God. Because the Bible said Abraham left Bethe to the east. Then he said Abraham camped. Bethe was now at the west. Why AI at the right? Meaning, if you are a good student of the Bible, you will notice he was initially at Bethe before he moved to the camp between AI and Bethe. Joseph had an encounter in where? Bethe. The same place where his father, his grandfather, raised an altar to God. Encounters break out naturally when we can key in into sacrifices that has been paid before us. Spiritual things are not lost. Whatsoever has gone before, we are reawakening it. Because I believe God, the force of righteousness will be seen in our territory. Not words of the mouth. Not talk. Let Jesus be truly seen in all his glory. At this time, I want us to close our eyes and begin to ask God. Lord, I know I came here for jump. I know I came here for dance. I know I came here to wash how they will sing. I know I came here to wash how they will act drama. I know I came here to wash how the preacher will speak. I know I came here to look at the clothes of the people that will be speaking. But Lord, help my heart tonight that I don't live here the same way I come. Just as how Jacob realized himself in Genesis 35 and shifted from a pillar to an altar, Lord, I've realized myself that with this if statement I'm following you, I can't do much for you. I'm ready to dive in, Lord, with all my life. If you will help me tonight, can you ask God, even as you're seated, work on my heart, O oh God. I know I don't truly love you. Many persons are crying for revival. I'm there shouting with them, but my heart is far away. It's as if what they are saying, the reality is very far. But Lord, I'm here tonight. I ask that you touch me. May I not live here the same way I came? May I not live here the same way I came? I know I may be struggling with many things now and it's as if salvation is far. But Lord, I believe you tonight that you will move <laughs> in <laughs> the power. That you move by your scepter and you set me free. Can we ask God tonight? Can we ask God tonight?
For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Are there living souls here this evening? For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. All right. Um, the JCCF Drama Group, we have a ministration for you guys. I want you to watch and focus with open hearts. What we have come to do is to minister. What we have come to do is to touch lives. What we have come to do is to paint the, pict the scriptures in pictures. And as you watch, God will bless you and give you a testimony that will live here with you that will last for a lifetime in the name of Jesus. Father, we are asking for revival, oh Lord. Father, your children are crying for revival. Father, come and touch our hearts. Father, even as your children are crying, Lord. Father, you know your hearts, Lord. You know the hearts of your children. Father, you know what they are worrying about, Lord. Father, even as they are praying. Father, touch their hearts. Father, even as the student community, oh Lord, I pray. Ah, Father, touch their hearts. Father, let your revival fall upon them. Ah, Rakapasha, Rakapasha, Rakapaya, Lapa, Rakapaya, Raka. Father, your revival shall fall upon this generation. Father, let your revival fall, oh Lord. Father, your revival is what we ask for. Eliaramanta, Rakapaya, Rakapaya, Rakaya. Father, your revival shall fall upon the children. Father, that men may see your good work and know that you alone are Lord. Father, take all the glory. Take all the glory. For in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Baba. Good ah, evening, Baba. Ah, Baba. Very fine, Baba. Very, very okay. I was hearing you praying from inside the room. Ah, yes, Baba, that so was. I said, let me come and check what is going on. And then I saw the praise for so, so. revival. Revival. Yes, Baba. So, 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 so. It is well with you. Ah! You see, I Baba, am. I had to just so, pray so, for the so, community. So, so. Hmm? So, just had to so, pray so, because so, what so, we are saying. So. Even if our mouth may be wrong, we can't even just talk about it. We need Jesus, Baba. We need Jesus. You see, as I was here, yes, Baba. Something came to mind. And then I I was like, ah! No, I need to tell my son something. Many like you who began the job. You see, iniquity does not come. They still disguise themselves. I am telling you now, John 3, 3 says, only a man who is born again can come into the light, can see the light. Please, I'm warning you, be born again. The light is here. Come to the light. Come to the light. The light is here. Jesus is here. The light is here. I'm begging you, brothers and sisters, don't be left behind. Come into the light. The light is here. And Jesus is with you. And that was how... He yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ and the light. And many people yeah. in the village came. And on the, ah, they were born again. They believed in the truth. Ah. But the painful thing is, it is not how far, but how well. He started the journey, but he failed along the way. This same man of God who preached to us to come to the light was still suffering from lying tongues. 
bit by bit. A man who spoke the truth begin to tell lies. A man who prophesied begin to prophesy. And so he became a swift in shadows. Until the anointing he came with was badly reduced to nothing. <laughs> he couldn't even pray again. And that was how he faded off. Ah. So, so take heed. Take heed. As you pray for the revival and for the force of righteousness upon your territory, remember that you are the first recipient. Let me still tell you about another. I can't forget this powerful man of God. He came in fire and in power. Yes, 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 yes. We call oh. him. I carry ghost. I carry fire. If I catch you in this land, you are going to fall. Oh God. Is a consuming fire. You have sent me here to cause a revival. You have sent me power to cause a shake in the kingdom of darkness. Ah, 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 my God, my God, my God, my God. Hey, 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 the ghost, the ghost, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus. I hear a name. John, in the realm of the spirit, if your name is John, Yeah. A lady, for 10 years, you have been looking an husband. You are now 35 years. The Holy Ghost is telling you to come now. Come! Don't get wherever you are. Come! Ah! For five years now, you've been at, you've been going to the prayer meetings, you've been going there and there for power. That you need power. The Lord said to me, <laughs> The Lord who made his ministers a flame of fire. Yes, 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 yes. He sent me yes. to impart that same anointing. Oh, oh, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fire. Yes. I pass it on to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive fire. Amen. Receive fire. Amen. Receive fire. Receive fire. Amen. Receive fire. Receive fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Revive. Amen. Revive. Amen. Revive. 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 Shall possess their possession. Yes. Ah, this man did not last. Ah, oh, see, if we wait, if we wait here for you to cast out that demon on you, eh? ah, let me tell you a problem. There is a mask on your face. Fire, fire. Who was burning with fire? He dismantled the walls of darkness in the land and rattled the foundations of the society. And the devil had to back out of the village. Even the chief priest left the land because he kept on burning for God. Ah, but you see, he was seduced and he fell into the sin of immorality. And that was a man who was born in so hot, became so cold as a quest fire. And everybody delivered from the village. All went back to their sins. And even the witches of that land came to make a recatch of him. A man who came with so much flame. He came into the land as Kedrikuma, but he left in Kuma. Ah. Let me see, tell you one more. So that you will understand the, the, the gravity of what you are about to engage into. Ah, I remember that was the last time I saw, and that was the last time I ever saw a kind again. One who preached about seed sowing and sowing into the land for them to break out from poverty. Ah! 
Kabaya, Sete Yikabala Kabada Yakabada, Yikabala Kada Yakabala Kada Ya, the spirits does not lie. Yes.
Yes, Baba. The best I can do is to pray for you. That your strength do not fail not in the days of battle. The devil has not left the battlefield over the souls of men. He still fights every day. That's why he has increased the hardship upon the land so that men can join him into front. He has increased the level and the hardness of the economy so that ladies can send their soul and their body for wealth. So, never lose sight of the teachings I have given you. And I have taught you and your siblings. Never let go of my word. Find them around your neck. For they shall be a guideline unto you. Never you forsake the scriptures. For the land is still full of darkness. So I urge every one of you to pray. This is more than a drama. This is a message. Check around and ask yourself when blasting and purity from the mouth of men. What prophetic he has taken over the world. Want us to prepare our hearts. Want us to welcome you to our midst this night. Just prepare your hearts. Align your hearts.
we pray in the language of the Holy Ghost tonight? You have not come to meet with any man. You have not come to meet with any man. Some of us are still looking. Can you pray tonight? 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 Jesus is passing. Jesus is passing. Jesus is here to say, Can you pray tonight? Can you pray tonight?
Amen. I will give the next three minutes again. There are some persons who still need to join us in the cloud. There are some, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The song says, I will hold him because he is passing my way. Now, there's something about whenever God calls for a convergence like this, God do not call people to waste their time. God do not call people just for them just to come together and then just, just while away time and waste time. He said, I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. There is something, oh my God. Jesus took Peter, James, and John to the mountain to be transfigured. The Bible says, as they were praying, Jesus was praying. The Bible says, and he said, all of a sudden, his garment was white, and was shining. And the Bible says, and there appeared Elijah, and there appeared Moses. But under that heavy cloud, Peter, James, and John, they were sleeping. So you can be under a heavy cloud like this and yet catch nothing. I give you three minutes now. Oh my God, full prayer. Can you lift up your voice and express your desperation? Only, only symbols, only symbols. Go ahead now, go ahead now. Express your desperation and say, Lord, 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 tonight, tonight, tonight. Touch me with the coals from the altar. Touch me with the coals from the altar. Peru te le periaca, yere te se le bo, le peru de. Oh my God, shata paria te le periaca taya. I know you wear nice netting. I know you dress fine tonight. But can you forget about your dressing and touch God? Can you forget? Oh my God, le peru a kataya taya, yele bo de, yere pe ke te le as. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not come to waste time, God. I must leave here with something tangible. Oh my God. Leave those who came to look to look. Let those who came to look at the instrumentalist, let them look at it. But those who came to touch God, those who came to touch God, can you pray, oh my God? Sisters, pray, brothers, pray, oh my God. Yes, there's somebody, there's somebody here. There's somebody getting a set of here. There's somebody getting a set of here. Let them be out there. Be 
Jesus, listen to me. I remember back then, you know, for those of you who may not know me, 2016, that was when I graduated from Kupu. 
I remember turning this place when we basketball court into a prayer ground. You see, I always say, hunger has a posture. When you see someone who is hungry for God, you will know. It has a posture. Desperation has an attitude. There's an attitude in his presence that determines the attitude you are to him. I remember back then, sometimes rain can be falling. And the people will miss the prayer time here. Aye. But I had friends. Thank God, friends like Brokema. Friends like Apostle Innocent. Friends like Brother. Who we'll come here under the rain? Water is everywhere here. And you will see us. I remember. You see, these pictures cannot leave me. And sometimes I can stay under that water and. Hunger! So people look at us, then they were, they, 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 they were giving us a name. These, these guys are mad. These guys are barbaric. Hunger has a posture for what God is about to do in these three days. The Lord said it will take hunger. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. He said, they, meaning it is not everybody. There are categories of, there's a, there's a strange breed that is about to rise from this meeting tonight. From these three days, Apaliata, one of the signs we know is that these men, they are hunger. Can I tell you, this hunger is called a fire to press. The moment you lose it, you see the drama team, they were here, and why, why they were acting inside of me, oh my God, there was a fire burning. You see, there is something that you will catch in a meeting that we command eternal relevance. That yes, from now, woo, back then, this was the kind of prayer we pray. We were literally not praying for power. The kind of prayer we do pray then is, Lord, kill me. Oh, Lord, kill me. Lord, kill me. Lord, kill me. I know my generation likes power. Oh my God. That will not permit me to say, say some certain things. But what I'm trying to say is that the moment you lose the fire to press, your spiritual relevance begins to deteriorate.